Happy Leap Day, everyone. Or otherwise known as the 29th of February, which happens every four years. Yes, every four years we have a Leap Year Day. At least in America. I don't know how it is in other countries. But, you know, February normally has 28 days. But now, you know, that it's, you know, a Leap Year... We now are in the 29th of February. And I figured, you know, why not celebrate this day by reviewing an episode of Spongebob. SP129. Oh, yeah, SP129. Now, this episode actually came out... It came out way, way back in, at the beginning of the show. Back in, you know, the... The earlier days of Spongebob. I actually talked about, like mentioned it back when I was first reviewing Spongebob. And back when I first re was reviewing stuff on my channel. But to be fair, I had some stuff before that. But I actually blocked the videos because, uh... Well, I blocked them because they were, uh... Because I, you know, needed to edit them and make them look better, so... That, that's, that's why, um, you know, well, well, mainly because I, mostly I show my face off and all that, so, yeah, I, blo I blocked those videos. Eventually, I want to unblock them, but, uh, I can't do that right now because I don't know how to blow out my face and all that, so, so, yeah, but, um, but, yeah, basically, though, I've done reviews before Spongebob, I even done a Family Guy video, but, uh, but when I did Spongebob, I, I, I wanted to do uh, this episode, but I chose Karate Choppers. Because that episode, I had a lot more to say with it than this one at the time. Because a lot more people talked about, uh, well, they, talk, they don't talk about Karate Choppers. Well, this one's the same way, but Karate Choppers, I wanted to point some stuff out in the episode I thought were interesting. But, um, but yes, I wanted to do that. But here we are, here we are, finally reviewing this episode. And don't worry, later down the road, I'll be attending to review every episode of each season of this show. Family Guy, The Fairly Odd Parents, and many more. But right now, I can't do that. I don't have the time and all that. I'm mainly doing this video because I don't know any other episodes that do this kind of concept with the numbers. And, and the fact that it's the 29th episode. So this episode fits perfectly for this specific day. But, um, I mean, to be fair, too, there's also the 29th. You know, there'll be the year on 2029, which will be coming up, too. But I don't want to wait that long to review this episode. So uh, that's why I'm reviewing it now. But, um... Without any further ado, you guys know the drill. If you guys want to be notified for future videos, please... Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. If you guys want to, you guys can support my channel by liking the video too. You guys don't have to do it, but it would be very nice if I could get some likes. I mean, to be fair, I don't really do that, but that's because my videos are, my like video is, you know, playlist is very full. So I can't really like any more videos right now. I'll have to clean that out, but um, I do sometimes like to, ha you know, like certain videos so I can be, so if they're in my playlist. But um, but anywho though, anywho. Uh, also, I forgot to keep forgetting to say this too. Also, I'm on Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram. I also have a Daventi art. Now, right now, I'm not very good with the art stuff. I'm actually. F I'm actually been using like I'm 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 not copying people's photos, but I'm trying to like edit them to where I'm not stealing directly their photos because people do it on you know Davinci art. But this one person got mad at me because I used it's this person's art. And it, I mean to be fair, I did give them credit at the end of it, and um and honestly, it's kind of hard to make some art on it, but. 
But it's not going to be just weight gain or um, I'm just starting out with fat because that's a, a very easy thing to do because with the emojis and all that. I, I want to make art for everyone and specifically the whole reason why I have the Divinity art in the first place is not really to do that. More, more so, I want to make art. Like, because I'm actually working on making books and all that. I actually have a book I made. I actually showed it off on Instagram. I even have it on YouTube with the Kale Babby and Julia stuff. So you guys can check out that too. And I, I do plan on trying to figure out how to sell the book. But, but people can't steal it because I have it copyrighted. So, you know, people can't steal it. It has my name on it and all that. So, there's that. Um... I was told that I, that's all I had to do, but to publish it, if I publish the book, I can sell it, but I don't have the money to publish it right now, so, yeah, there's that, but, um, but yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, if people are on my Instagram and wondering why I have some, some, you know, posts, like, of, like, I, I've actually posted some, you know, Danielle from Danny Phantom R, and I have, like, the, the big, the big, Thick mayor guy from the Cloudy Chance Meatballs. That's why, because I'm trying to, you know, I'm start. It's it's, it's kind of like this channel here. I started off making different videos, but for for to find my audience, and I still do that to this day. But you know, I try to do stuff I want to do as well. You know, but but um, yes. But um, anywho, let's let's go ahead and get into this. You know, video here. So this is SP129. So this episode, my goodness, this episode is very, very strange. This episode is, is one of the most strangest episodes of Spongebob ever. Well, actually, I wouldn't say ever because I've been hearing the, the new seasons of the show are very uh, weird and wacky themselves. To be fair though, I haven't seen a whole bunch of episodes from seasons 11 through 13, and I guess they're 14 now. I have not seen a lot of episodes. I've seen clips of it on YouTube, that people are posting clips on YouTube. Uh, but I have not actually seen the full episodes. That's because I'm waiting to do reviews on them because I, I, wanna, I don't want to watch an episode I don't like. That people don't, that people, you know, other people don't like too, and you know, like, and review it there, you know, like, guess the problem, like, um, like, I don't want to do that, and you know, like, that, that's why I'm saving it so I don't have to watch the episodes again and just to do the reviews, because there's also Ink Lemonade too, but, um, yeah, that, that episode looks really bad, but there could be episodes too that I hate that other people like. So that's why I've not been reviewing and, and watching a lot of newer Spongebob episodes. But, um, but anywho, guys, let's, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and say, talk about the whole topic of this episode. Like, what makes it so weird, you know? What, what makes this episode so weird compared to the, to the other episodes? Well, one thing is, though, is it's, uh... It, it came out, you know, during a time period when Spongebob wasn't, I mean, it was weird, uh, but it wasn't, like, super duper weird, like, to the point where, like, I mean, seasons one through three, and maybe, f yeah, four and five, too, they had their weird episodes, but they weren't, like, as wacky as modern Spongebob. Again, as we just, what I've seen, because I haven't seen a bunch of stuff, but, um... But people are, are talking about how wacky SpongeBob is now. How it, it is a bit too random at times. But uh, when, when, back in the day, when episodes like this came out, it was just so strange. Number one is the freaking title. The title is so strange alone. Like I'm not sure why they call it SB. Well, they call it SB129 because it's SpongeBob. It's S and B is SpongeBob, and then one is season one. And then, you know, and then 2 9. 2 9 is, uh, you know, the episode number. Yeah, 2 9 is the episode number. So, so clearly that's kind of strange. I, but, you know, it, it's still pretty cool. I just don't know what made the writers think of this title. But I don't care. It's, it's a pretty cool title. Also, instead of having music, you have, you have like, um, 
you have like um, a random guy or a computer. I don't know if it's a real person or a computer because I think back then they had like voice clips for computers and all that too, I think. I mean, this episode came out in 1999, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't, ha I don't actually don't have a, I don't have a um, a date or anything for this one because I, I, I didn't know how I wanted to list this episode because uh, I mean, I probably could have put the date at the top, but um, I got it a little bit mixed up and was thinking too. Much. I was thinking about the the title and thinking about the the um, you know, the season and all that because that's usually what I do when do reviews. I usually put the date, and then I put the, but, um, I don't know, I, I feel like I want to make this a little bit s different than the actual video itself when I do the season review down the road, but, um, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I just I couldn't really think of how I wanted to do this, because plus, you know, like, with it being called SB129, I'm like, that's basically the, the, the name of the title and all that, but I don't know if I want to put the season down there or not, I mean, I probably could, but... I don't know, but, um, yeah, this is kind of one of those interesting episodes, though, too, but, like, oddly enough, it starts off with, with, with Squidward, like, Squidward is, like, um, like, Squidward is basically, uh, you know, uh, well, he is, Squidward's basically, you know, has his, um, you know, like, he's playing his cl clarinet, Spongebob and Patrick's, uh, well, pa well, pa well, Spongebob's, um, sorry, Spongebob's, um, alarm goes off, and, and Squidward's, Accidentally slows his clarinet, which, by the way, they'll they'll, they'll actually foreshadow this l later later down the road. Which is I don't know if it's foreshadowing. Anyway, they won't hint at it, but SpongeBob will like state back in season four how Squidward slows his clarinet again. Like I don't know if that's actually hinting at they already did this before and that 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 SpongeBob stole his Squidward slowed his clarinet before. I'm really not sure, but um. But yeah, you know, that that's gotta be very uncomfortable to like, actually swallow your clarinet, or even have it in your mouth for that matter. It's just like, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I mean, having it poke you in the throat and all that. That's gotta be very uncomfortable. I'm sure some people out there probably wouldn't mind that, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want a clarinet being stuck in my throat like that. You know, like, because I, I know I know some people. You know, like like you know weird stuff. You know, I'm not gonna try to go into too much detail, but. People like some weird stuff, you know, because, you know, that's how, you know, all that love and stuff works, you know. But, um, you know, when people make love and all that, it's very weird. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going a bit too far there. But, uh, but SpongeBob and Patrick come over to see if Squidward wants to go jellyfishing. And, uh, and you know, he doesn't want to do it. And um, even Patrick points that out. So, this is back when Patrick was still smart. Like, well, he wasn't super duper smart, but he was a lot smarter than, than SpongeBob. See, Patrick actually got dumbed down over time. I think they were still trying to find his fitting in the earlier seasons because, um, well, mainly season one because, like, he's like a lot more of a, he's a lot smarter, especially the first, the first few episodes of the show. Like, he's very, he's a lot smarter. Like, one episode, he, he, you know, he. Helps SpongeBob make make friends with Sandy and all that. Like he's a lot. He's like the one because I'm pa SpongeBob's getting advice from Patrick for that, and and Patrick helps SpongeBob get his boating license and all that, you know, and boating school and things like that. And I mean, later down the road they'll do the same thing, like where SpongeBob goes to Patrick for advice. But later down the road, it's, it's well, later down the road, Patrick basically, um, you know ends up screwing things up and ends up being stupid, you know, and all that. So, he gets horrible advice from Spongebob. Heck, he, even, like, even episodes like, uh, like, episodes like in Grandma's Kisses and all that, you know, Patrick would give Spongebob horrible advice and, uh, you know, instead of, you know, giving him good advice because, you know, he's a lot dumber in the season two and three and onward, but, uh, but, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. But, um... Yeah, I always find this episode very, very interesting. You know, I really do find it interesting. And, um... Like, how, how it starts at all. And I like how they knock on Squidward's door. I mean, people put... People point this out, like... That how pre-movie air... Like, in pointing out how Spongebob and Patrick actually knock on Squidward's door. 
but they, they knock on Squidward's door and, uh, you know, like how later seasons they actually break into the his house and all that unexpectedly. They do this in the earlier seasons, too. Heck, a few episodes ago, like, um, if you watch the show, like, Spongebob and Patrick, like, well, Patrick literally breaks into Squidward's house. Like, he breaks into Squidward's house and, um, and was taking a bath in Squidward's house, you know, like, that's pretty... That's pretty cr creepy, honestly, but, uh, but it, but, the, the, but it gets creepier in the later seasons. They, they actually make it a lot more creepier and all that. Like, while, while the earlier seasons, they actually just do it as a gag, you know, because, I mean, they gotta show that SpongeBob, why Squidward hates SpongeBob, but, but, but make him not, you know, a complete unlikable asshole, you know, like they do in the later seasons. Later seasons, they actually, they freaking, like, make him so creepy and all that. Especially around season six, he's freaking so creepy. Like, he, um, like, he basically, like, like, he decorates his entire house and replicates everything exactly perfectly. And then, like, you know, episodes like, um, then there's, like, episodes where he's actually following Squidward and all that. I mean, to be fair, he's not breaking in his house and, like, you know, choir boys, not, but like, he's, like, following them around and all that, which is very creepy and... I mean, I don't know, I, I mean, it's basically just creepy, and then there's, like, one episode where they're, like, inside his flowers, and, and Patrick says they're pretty, and all that, and there's episodes like that, like, that works just very creepy, and yeah, they do this a little bit in the earlier seasons, too, like, Patrick, again, goes inside Squidward's house in, in, his, in his tub, and all, which is very creepy, but, like, but but it's it's not it's not as bad as like later episodes at least what I remember because most of the time it's like you know Squidward you know doesn't like SpongeBob and Patrick or doesn't want to be bugged and then he gets dragged into the, you know situations or you know and all that like um and he ends up warming up to them but um in this episode it's like basically it's a whole Squidward episode like it literally is it's a whole this episode focuses on mostly Squidward. Now, Spongebob and Patrick do appear throughout the episodes. They do appear, but, um, they appear throughout the episodes, but, um, but they, uh, you know, like, um, but they, they, they appear throughout the episodes, but they, um, but, but, well, I mean, throughout this episode, they appear, but they don't appear a whole lot, like, because what happens is Squidward, like, Needs some alone time, so so he goes he goes into the Krusty Krab because it's it's Sunday and the Krusty Krab is closed, so he goes there to actually hang out, and for, for, unfortunately they end up following him there, and he goes into the freezer, ends up getting locked in the freezer, and uh, he's apparently there for freaking two 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 thousand years, like no joke, he's there for for freaking two thousand years. I'm surprised. I'm surprised no one checked the storage, you know, freezer or something. Like, like how how the hell, like how the hell did freaking, like what, like how the hell did no one know that he was in there? I mean, you could argue too that like there's like two employees, like uh, there's two employees, like I mean, maybe there, there's there's um, I mean two workers, Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob and the Krusty Krab, but like. I mean, don't they have to go to the, the back, the back to get the free, the Krabby Patties and all that? Like, or is this before they you know store the Krabby Patties in the freezer? I'm not sure because I feel like that's the whole reason why, why they would use it. So it's kind, it's kind of weird to have Squidward like. It's weird to have him like you know. It's weird to have Squidward like you know just be randomly you know in a freezer like. Why didn't he just fall in a lake or something? Or, you know, like... I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of weird, like... Like, just to have him, like, just get locked in a freezer. And I want to clarify, it's a lot... It locks on the inside, so I'm like... I'm like... I mean, what, what kind of freezer does that? You know, why does it lo lock on the inside? You know, I'm like, I don't really get that. But, um... But, you know, I don't know, but it's crazy how, like... It's crazy how that happens, though, but, um, I don't know. I do know, too, now, here's the thing I've noticed. When you go to, like, a gas station or something, I want to point this out. When you go to a gas station, like, all, like the freezers and all that, a, a lot of them, there are, um, a lot of the freezers and all that are basically, um, not super-duper cold. 
So I, I don't know if you would actually freeze in there, but you would actually, you, you could die probably in there. I don't know. I mean, it kind of depends because some of these are not like super, like it take you, it take like hours for you to actually die in the freezers so that you can get time to get out. But I know that there's people in the gas stations that actually have to go in the freezers to actually, you know, to stock stuff. So there's that. But, um, but usually they don't keep them like super duper cold. I think just in case. But um, it's kind of like coming outside, like in the when it's in the forties and all that. So it's like above freezing, but it's cold enough to keep the the food and all that and the ice cream from like melting, you know. But because I, I don't think ice cream has to be like frozen, frozen to actually be good. But I don't know. But I just find it really odd, you know, how like the Krusty Krab freezer like just freezes Squidward so easily and all that, and that no one noticed he was gone, and, all that. and the fact that his 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 head was like sticking out. I mean, it took them two thousand years, and SpongeBob, his future counterpart, actually finds finds his face and realizes he's frozen inside there. So that's pretty interesting, but. uh but I will say, too, that, uh, speaking of Spongebob, apparently his future self, he evolved into a robot. But yeah, he turned into a robot. He's called Spongetron instead of Spongebob, because apparently, you know, I mean, Spongebob d died, you know, years ago. Now, I don't actually don't know how long sponges live in real life. Uh, but I do know that, like, sponges have been, all have been around for millions of years. They've been, they've been around for millions of years. Like, you can actually find fossils of them in crystals and all that. Like, I think I found some. In, I actually think I actually have some. Actually, I have some, I, I believe, that are in crystals. I got stuff with coral, like coral in it, like in, in coral reefs and all that, that are fossilized. But I don't know if I have any, you know, sponges, but... They they are they are like they are frozen in there and all that. But I mean, I mean it makes me want to know how, like when does SpongeBob die and all that. I mean, we've seen SpongeBob old and all that, but but you know that was also like um, but this is also was when when Steven Hilbert was in charge and the the show was like more on biology. I mean, actually, I don't know if it's it's always been like that, but I I do know that Steven Hilbert was a teacher and all that, so it's possible that like they probably have different lifespans. I don't know, I really don't know, but they've been around for a long time, so it's very crazy and all that. But I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me though, like if that's how it was. But I know over time the show would change and Squidward would like. And all that. Squidward basically would, you know, do that. And I mean, basically, well, Squidward and all the characters would like, would like, you know, like get old, like human beings and all that. So I'm not sure. But um, I mean, I even know like in episodes like Squid on Strike, it's like that. They get old together and all that. So I don't know. But um, I don't know if they're all, they've always, I mean, they, I don't know if they've always been doing that or before they were, you know, changing up their ages. But um, I don't know. Like, depending on the creatures. But. SpongeBob's not supposed to be. He's not actually a, like he's actually a, a, a plant. Sponges are actually plants. He's based off of a kitchen sponge, so I don't know. But but I will I will say this though. I will say that like once he goes to the future, apparently he meets four hundred and eighty six letters of the alphabet of SpongeBob. So I don't I don't know if that includes SpongeTron himself or what, but like. The fact that there's like apparently more more letters of the alphabet and all that of SpongeBob is very very crazy and you know I don't know, I just find it, it's very ironic and I don't know but um I do find it very ironic and um and all that stuff but I will say too I do like also how Patrick appears in the future with, with two heads and all that like it's really random and funny and all that like I'm guessing Patrick must have evolved into a two-headed starfish. Now, starfish can look different. Sometimes they can have more than, you know, like four limbs or five limbs. I don't know, but they can have more than that. But, but I don't know, but, but I will, but I will say, though, um, but I will say that, I um, mean, you know, um, 
Like, I will say that, you know, ha having, you know, like, all this interesting stuff in, in this episode is pretty cool. On top of it being chrome. Yeah, this is this entire episode, like, the future's all chrome and all that, like, I don't know, if I were Squidward, I would like to just stay in that timeline. I mean, sure he has to deal with a lot more Spongebobs and Patricks, but at least, you know, it looks a lot better and all that, because, I mean, to be, to be fair, he also has to deal with that in the past, too, and all that, so I don't really know, but... You know, like, like when it's in his own timeline. But speaking of timelines, he actually goes back in the past and um, ends up going to a, a prehistoric timeline. Which I don't know, I don't know how people came up with this. But um, back in the day, they like a lot of the, the like caveman characters and all that, like Flintstones and prehistoric characters like the Powerpuff Girls and SpongeBob and all that would would, would take place during like the dinosaur times. And I want to clarify, the dinosaurs went extinct like 66, actually 66, I mean 67 million years ago now. So, they went extinct a long time ago. So, uh, so, um, yeah, they went extinct a long time ago. So, it's kind of crazy how that happened and all that. But, um, but yeah, you also see the little, um, tri the triopod, the, um, you know, the, the, uh, tri triopods or whatever they're called on um, the, uh, I can't remember what those creatures are called that, that apparently survived several massive extinctions, but finally went extinct. You can see them, like, instead of them being sea urchins, that they're them. So I'm guessing maybe they're prehistoric sea urchins. I don't really know, but they, but they, um, you know, the fact they had those two is pretty cool. And I be I actually believe they are still alive in the ocean because we haven't really, fo they, they say, that if you look on Google, they're cleared extinct, but we've been finding creatures all the time. They found a, um, a seal camp fish, too, you know, that, that, that thought was bit, to be extinct for thousands of years by, by human beings. But they found them thousands of years later. So, I don't know. But, but what ends up happening, he, he teaches them jellyfishing. So, Squidward teaches the, the characters jellyfishing. He ends up, you know, playing his clarinet because he's, he's trying to shut them up. They end up freaking out, which finally scares the hell out of me as a kid and as an adult. Seeing SpongeBob and Patrick look like freaking wild beasts chasing Squiller. He goes in this time machine, breaks the freaking lever, and then literally goes into a, an ultimate timeline somewhere. I don't even know where the hell he went with freaking squares and uh, and all that. And basically, he ends up saying he's alone, and we say we hear it many times, and then like. Uh, and all that stuff, and basically, and then he ends up crashing to the floor, and ends up going back home, and all that, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's a weird episode, it gets weirder and weirder as time goes on, but it's still a really good episode, I still really like this episode, and I like how it reveals at the end that Squidward, in fact, like I said, did invent jellyfishing, so it makes me wonder who invented jellyfishing first, but, that's pretty cool, though, but, um, but, Basically, though, I don't. I, I probably could go on about this one, but I'm trying to stop at, at 29 minutes and 29 seconds for you guys for the February 29th thing. But um, but anywho, um, I really don't have a lot to say here, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this episode is definitely a good and definitely deserves 120 points. Yeah, this episode is really good. Like, it's very strange, but really good. I like how it changes up the pace. It makes it makes it focus on Squidward, not SpongeBob or Patrick. I really like that. It's really cool, and um, I like the chrome atmosphere. I just really like this episode a lot. I really do. It's just it's very strange but very cool at the same time. And um, I don't know what to really say. I just really like this episode a lot. I really do. I think it's a really good episode, and I would definitely recommend checking this out your, for your guys itself if you guys are new to the show. But anywho, guys, I will see you guys later. I have to let things go from here, though, because I have to get some things ready and all that, and, um, and all that, and I'm trying to let this thing, you know, you know, stop on 29 minutes and 29 seconds. So, um, but yeah, please hit the, but remember, guys, to subscribe to my channel, and remember to, to make sure you guys are still subscribed to my channel, because I've been, people been unsus getting unsubscribed to my people's channels, and all that, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.